Nathan here for 91 One The Globe. I'm sitting down here with Alan Kaufman, former mayor, mayor of Goshen, and also a newly elected school board member. All right, All right. Thanks for sitting down with me, Alan. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate um, the invitation. You were, as I said, formerly mayor of Goshen. How do you think that role in public office will help prep you for your new position on the school board? Well, I think there's a lot of similarities between municipal finance and school finance. There are different silos in, in schools than there are in cities, but the mechanism for property taxes and other kind of taxes are very similar. Now, I don't pretend to know everything about school finance, but I think the parallels are going to allow me to catch on quicker than maybe some other people would be able to. So, you're talking about finance, what other types of duties and, or like tasks are you going to, like just a basic overview of what your job will be as on the school board? Well, I think it'd be very similar in some ways to city council, although school boards don't pass ordinances and things like that. But it's an overview of the system and um, a body that uh, consults with the administration and helps develop policies for the schools. Uh, but certainly, these are challenging times for public schools. Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, in addition to the COVID and, and all the changes they're having to make and going back and forth and going through another one now, um, in addition to that, public schools are under assault hmm. by the state legislature and federal government, at least until January the 20th. <laughs> so you're talking about like them being under assault. Um, was that a little bit why you wanted to do this position, or were there other reasons? Yeah, it is. Um, they're complicating times, and I think with uh, the things I learned about how the leg Indiana State Legislature works and, and how the combination of taxes work, hmm relationships that I've built with some legislators and and some of those people are gone now because I've been out of office for five years um, but knowing how the sausage is made down there um, <laughs> and that you hope that it tastes good at the end um, and relationships and knowing um, how to appear in front of a committee hearing and and testify and those kind of things I think makes a difference mm -hmm. so overall what do you hope to accomplish during your time in office when it's on the school board? I okay, think. well, I've grown up in Goshen, okay? Um, lived here all my life, and prior to me being on this, getting elected to the school board, my father was on the school board when I was in high school, and uh, he, he was one of the first, I think he was the first blue collar guy elected, or they weren't elected back then, they were appointed. Mm -hmm. um, so he was the first blue collar guy that was appointed to the school board, and, and back then there were three year terms and you can only serve three three terms. Mm -hmm. So he served his nine years and was well respected by teachers and whatever. And I might have caught a couple of breaks along the way as a student at Goshen High School because my dad was on the school board, <laughs> but I don't think it was really out of balance. Uh, but I've always kind of wanted to be on the school board and kind of in some ways follow dad's footsteps. So they're gonna go through some transitions and with the new five six middle school, or yeah, five six school opening up. Mm -hmm. There's going to be redistricting, and there's going to be a lot of issues facing the school board. So some people say, why in the world would you want to be on the school board now? And I just think the challenges are, the challenges are worth meeting, and mm. I think I can do a good job. It's not, so I, I ran against an incumbent. It's not that he wasn't doing the job. You know, it's just that I kind of wanted to do it, and um, so I was fortunate enough to get elected. Well, congratulations on uh, getting the position, and thanks for sitting down with me, Alan. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. You're pretty easy on me. <laughs>